G'day, it's uh, Jeff Lewis here again from Seriously Series, uh, just doing our little monthly update on what's been happening over the uh, month of February, or the three weeks or so of February. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty busy month. Uh, we've been um, just doing all the real exciting stuff of paperwork. Man, you've got to love it. you just got to love it. So um, we've been... Oh, well... I, myself, and a few of the other team members have been coming up with uh, sponsorship proposals. So we've been chasing a few companies, um, such as uh, ARB, Tire Pliers, and uh, Mantec, which are a UK mob, which our UK fans would know all about them. They do some lovely Land Rover products and that too. So we're hoping to get a couple um, double, double jerry can holders to go on the roof rack and a couple other bits. It's a bit of a wish list, so if something comes out of it, it does. If it doesn't, well... It doesn't matter. You um, no harm in trying, hey. But uh, I do warn you, this video is a bit controversial. It actually caught me uh, off guard. <laughs> Sorry, bit of dad humour there. But uh, yeah, the guard is off. The left-hand guard. We've taken it off the Series Three. Uh, Claire kindly came and give it, uh, gave me a hand yesterday to take it off. Um, and the reason being is we've had a big issue with the with the starter motor. Uh, it just won't start, pretty much. Um, very simple, these starter motors, in, uh, in principle. And that, there's not much to them. There's no solenoid or anything like that. But your brushes are kept up in the top here. And I think what's happened is there's just too much graphite powder up in the top as the brushes wear. Um, I've had it happen in the past, so all you have to do is take these two bolts off here and you've got access to it. So um, I'll take those off and I'll put up a little video of, uh, of myself uh, testing it. And that, uh, usually I just pop it in the vise and get a 12 volt battery and just give it a few taps just to see if it's running okay and give it a bit of a service inside, check the diodes and the, um, the brushes. But, um, yeah, very, very simple. You don't get them on the new Defender anymore, sadly. They're too complicated. Too much uh, German, German electrics and that. But um, I'll take, it off, take you off the little stand, and then you can get a bit more of a um, inside, peak, inside peak into the bowels of the Land Rover. So yeah, so taking the guard off, and one of the great things about these vehicles in particular, you got 12 volts pretty much. Take it off, I can sit on the wheel here, and I can just tinker with this side of the motor. So it's it's just perfect. It's it's just lovely. And um, to get the starter motor out though, it is a little bit of a pain. Let's try and get you in there. So you have to take the exhaust off. And we'll see if we can get you in there. You've got to take, you can probably just see the two holes at the top. You've got to take two bolts out and then slide the um, starter motor back and um, make sure that you um, be a little bit careful with it. You don't want to just go for it guns and nails and um, actually do some damage to the flywheel in there too. So it pays to take your time. So yeah, so we'll be overhauling that. Uh, we'll overhaul the alternator too, because that's something you don't want to fail. Um, if that fails, you can't have a cold beer at night, and that's pretty much, well, it can't get any worse than that. Um, so yeah, we'll be hope, hoping to do that over the next month or so. Uh, we haven't made quite as much progress on the Series 3 as we'd like, um, just due to the heat. Um, we've had a lot of a lot of weeks and quite a few days that have been up over 40 degrees and uh, the last thing I feel like doing is uh, coming out and sweating my guts out underneath the carport uh, trying to get this thing up and running. So um, now the weather's cooling off, I uh, should be able to get a little bit more um, into it. Um, so yeah, so we'll be doing that. Uh, we've also got a brand new wiring loom coming from the UK. Uh, which which should be here, oh, it should be here this week. Um, so we should have that, so we'll put all new wiring through it. Um, because as you know, if the smoke pressure goes down in British electrics, 
they catch on fire. Um, so yeah, so really important to have good wiring and that. Um, so we'll be doing that. We'll also be looking at uh, taking, oh, flip you around again, be taking all the floor panels out and the transmission tunnel and uh, hopefully have a look in the top of the gearbox. I wouldn't actually mind pulling the gearbox out and just seeing if the, um, because there's a lot of dirt and muck underneath there um, and it doesn't take much to pull them out once you've got all the floor, uh, floor pans out. But pull the gearbox back and just check the, the rear main seal because um, that can, obviously, oil's weeping out, it'll get on your clutch plate and your clutch will slip and it'll overheat. And when you're out in the middle of um, nowhere, that's uh, certainly something you don't want to have happen. So, um, yeah, so that's what we'll be in, in, endeavouring to get done over the next month or so. But um, we'll wait and see. I've got to head off in the Parenti on a couple trips and that. So um, that's going to restrict time and that's probably the biggest thing. Um, I'd love to do this full time, but uh, sadly... Um, I can only wish in one hand and hope for something else in the other, but um, we'll wait and see. One thing we are trying to start up, we're trying to get the Facebook page going a bit more, so please, as always, uh, be sure to like this video, like the page, any comments, and that, uh, please leave down below, and that, uh, we, we always try and get on top of them as quickly as we can, uh, Damon and myself. Uh, Damon's been pretty busy too, he's uh, actually working on David Attenborough's uh, latest doco, in Tasmania, so he's been chasing around these funny things called platypuses and that, or platypie, as I was corrected yesterday. There's more than one. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's flat out there too. And um, we'll also, one thing I nearly forgot to mention, within the next month we'll have um, some more toys for the Land Rover. And I mean serious toys. We've got a proper winch. That's right, a proper winch. None of this electronic mumbo jumbo stuff no 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 none of that really fancy complicated pto stuff no 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 a proper maritime winch yep that's right a capstan winch and for you guys who don't know get on youtube look it up if you don't know about it it's not worth living you have to have one of these it's it's the best thing since sliced bread so we've got that we've got long range tanks coming and we've got the ex-army um, jerry can holders coming too which will bolt on the back also but i'll be sure to give you a little sneak peek of those uh when and um well if they uh they rock up uh in the next couple of weeks or the next month anyway thanks for watching and as i said before be sure to like the video like the page leave as many comments as you like and uh we'll catch you in a few weeks time okay thanks see ya